<laughs> so this is Chit Chat. Um, so I wanted to talk about something that um, is weird. This is this is goofy stuff. That's why I wanted to separate. <laughs> this is I wanted to separate it from you know the actual stuff that's happening. So, so you guys. So because it's cold, you know I can't really do much. Walk the dogs a little bit, and then I want to come inside. They do too. They just want to go to the bathroom, and come inside in the warm. Right now I have like the door open, and it's not so freezing. We're all just chilling, no heat, nothing. I'm not quite sure what temperature. I think it's in the 40s. Um, not so bad. Um, when you're inside, if I'm outside, like my legs get cold, well, I'm wearing stretchy pants anyways, but if it gets overly cold, I have the snowsuit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I dropped the penny that I found. Okay. So, <clears throat> oh, and I found something else too. Look, I found this little dice. I'm going to use it in the reading. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um. What I wanted to talk about was, since I'm in here, you know, I watch, I'm watching, like, what do you do on rainy days? You say you watch YouTube, you watch TV, you watch Netflix, whatever. So I've been watching uh, YouTube videos, right? And a couple days ago, uh, when I was at Sh Shriner Park, all these videos for freaking alien mysteries were coming up, right? <laughs> So I started watching all that stuff, man. I've been on an alien history channel mystery kick, you know, the the untold truth or undiscovery or whatever. There's there's some different ones. So I've been watching those, you guys, and they're showing stuff that's like tripping me out. All right. <laughs> Talking about how the naval naval fire fighter pilots that they've seen these things, that these orbs and whatever, whatever. And so I'm like getting tripped out here. But then again, I'm not. And I'll tell you why. I mean, I don't know. Because these are legitimate people, even police officers, you know, or highway patrol people who are, you know, supposed to be all together mentally there. These are, I should just keep them there. I thought it looked ugly right there, but I'm going to keep them there because this is where I keep my gloves if it's cold. <laughs> so anyways, I was watching that and I was like, dang, you know. Because I'm telling you, you guys, I was in New Mexico at Roswell and we stayed in the town at a hotel for two nights only because it was like my birthday time and I thought I wanted to treat myself and I thought that would be cool. But it wasn't. I wanted to get back in the trailer. <laughs> I it was I, I would prefer to be in that. I just, it wasn't, I didn't like, it wasn't a good birthday present to myself. I didn't have fun. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Anyways, um. But we stayed in New Mexico at several free spots, too. That was only one time I paid. Every time around that, we stayed at the national parks or over there, whatever, right? And, um, or national forest, whatever you call it. I don't know. There's a lot of space for free camping right there, just like everywhere, you know, especially like uh, outside of the limits of, of Ta Taos, right? Uh, New Mexico. So anyways... I was watching these videos and then they were saying something about doing experiments and fusing different bodies and humans and having fetuses growing cows and just, <laughs> just ridiculous stuff, you guys. And so I was thinking, oh, shit. One time, the second time that I went to New Mexico and stayed at a spot in the National Foresty area, it was a, it was one of those um, trick tank spots, right? I stayed at one trick tank spot the first time, and then the second time I stayed at a different one. I thought it was the same, but it wasn't. I found out later it was just a to totally different spot. <laughs> but it was okay because it's hard to distinguish which ones, you know? So anyways... Um, we're at this spot. I find a nice spot. We stayed there for, for 14 days, you know, and just chilled around there. And um, me and Brian, we walked around that place a lot. And I think it was my, maybe the last few days we were there, because we were going to leave in a couple days, 
that we went walking around the back because, you know, we walked, we combed the whole area around the trailer and the car, you know, we stayed close, didn't want to get lost, right? So one day we went down this one spot. It was nice and clear, free, nothing this was there. Okay. The next day we made that same walk and there was a freaking brand new, fresh, dead cow right there. And that's when I was watching these things, that's reminding me of that moment. I saw a dead cow out there, but it wasn't being, um, it wasn't being eaten or attacked by any birds or animals. It looked like it's, skin was perfectly opened and its insides were exposed but no animals were eating at it all right now i don't know what happened to that thing right it was hot during that time so also there was some sort of white sack something inside which is possibly the gases from the stomach it was like a balloon it was blowing up okay when things die you know the insides can become you know and so i think that's what happened but it looked like it was it just fell and dropped and then it was open but there was nothing there was no animals around wanting to eat it or, and that shit, that shit was, was when something registered when I saw that shit on the, uh, on YouTube, when they said that they found dead animal or dead cow, they pulled out the feces or the, the feces, the, uh, the fetus. And it was some weird thing, right? But also there were no other animals around trying to eat it. There was no, right? That reminded me of that. I wonder if that was <laughs> if that was something. I don't know. That's some foolishness. I know, you guys. I know. But think seriously here. What if all this shit was true? What are we going to do? Everybody is so bent on, we got to find it. We got to prove it. We Okay, what if we prove it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? I don't think we have anything to protect ourselves from that. I don't think so. You know, like that one movie, that really freaking scary one with Tom Cruise? <laughs> when the things were pulling down and sucking up all the people and the blood and... I forgot what that one was, but that was a freaking scary-ass movie. Right? Who knows? You know, that shit is just scaring me anyways, you know, and it just makes me feel like I just want to, but you know what though? I'm still curious. So, I mean, I'm still going to be, we're still going to be going through New Mexico and I'm still going to be trying to look up there. Cause I mean, shoot, man, all these people are at least seeing these bright lights. Can I, I, I want to at least see something. I haven't seen nothing. And, and, and you know what? I'm one of those people. I got to see it to believe it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm spiritual now because I seen something that I cannot explain scientifically. Uh, yeah. You know, like I'm not, per I got to see proof, you know, uh, before I wasn't a spiritual person, I was a person science, you know, I need to see the proof, but because something happened to me that I can't explain scientifically, this is why now I am a spiritual person. Okay. I don't need to get into that. Okay. But I'm telling you guys, all these people saying these things, I want to see something too. You know, even if it scares the living daylights out of me, I, I want to experience it, but I guess I'm, I just may not be the lucky one chosen to do that in this lifetime. Or you never know. You never know. <laughs> right? So that was, this was the second part I wanted to talk about the chit chat because, you know, I, you know, and if any of you guys watch this, tell me what you guys think. I mean, so we find out it's true, possibly. What are we going to do? Those things I think can kill us all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to trip over it. I'm a little trippy, tripped out right now. <laughs> okay, a little bit. But I'm not, you know, what can we do, right? Everybody wants to find out the truth, but when they find out the truth, what can we do, really? All these people trying to prove all these things. What if we do prove these things in the end, okay? What can we do to protect ourselves? I don't think there's anything or much we can do. So why waste our time trying to 
find it, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess everybody that we all want to find the truth somehow, you know, but some stuff. Just live your life and be happy best you can is all I can think of, right? <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys. Uh, that I wanted to chit chat about that. If anybody out there has any ideas about that, say something below or comment or or hit me up <laughs> if you want to talk personally. Because I, I think that most of my subscribers here are people I only people that I personally know. Uh, I'm not sure that I have any alternate subscribers on here. I because I don't advertise stuff. So, anyways. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. This is Chit Chat. I'm Mona. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.